Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this video, I am going to show you how to install and uh, this VN Static PHP uh, monitoring your network bandwidth users. So, um, this is your six easy steps that I am going to show you. I am using CentOS 7. Uh, you can also do these in Red Hat Linux and server or desktop also. And in CentOS desktop also you can do Fedora also desktop server supported you can do the same method and same procedure into follow that i'm going to show you and you can find every command description in the below to my video description box and this my website is www.cloudnetwork.in websites where you can find every tutorial and troubleshoots and uh, installation about this uh, uh, linux ubuntu windows servers mac os also you can find everything so let us begin now so first of all is vn static php is graphical interface applications for the console mode we can also use and graphical also you can use is supported so these are the pre question following the packages we need to go into install first of all i am going to install vn static that is nothing but this going to monitor the uh, your bandwidth uses and it's going to configure and check your band uh, bandwidth statistics then uh, next to comes to our apache in that one i'm going to show you about the web server uh, how you can manage your pages in the uh, in the Apache then is going the next one is I'm going to install PHP fifth that is scripting language supports to your server and then uh, last one is PHP JDK extension that I'm going to install with this support for this graphical images for this one for that one so this is a website of this one uh, we in statics www.sqweeks.com is a website and uh, first of all I am going to installing in my CentOS that is VN static for that one this is your uh, command um, just in the terminal I am going to type this one yum install VN static after that I am going to check the VN static uh, hyphen ethernet that is your interface ethernet interface and the next one is your I am going to use this user hyphen u hyphen i to check your user interface and then installing apache php jdk action after that this is the path to install your php and this one is to check startup on whenever you start your computer it will automatically start with this command then service restart http that is apache completely three step this one and this one is your ip tables that means i am going to uh, configure your accept the port whatever the incomings are coming from the port tcp port uh, port number 80 that is going to be accept so there after that i'm going to restart the ip tables and the next one next one is i'm going to download the vn static php front end so this is the first of all i'm going to in, uh, inside the folder of temp uh, after that i'm going to download in the folder of inside the temp folder this is the command to download and then i'm going to extract there only and then after once after that i'm going to uh, install of uh, the previous one we have downloaded now I'm installing this is the command to install your P vn static php front end so after that restore hyphen rv is the command to check your path then i'm going to configure in the vn static then this is the configure we need to open the configuration file and after that i'm going to access the vn static and view the graphics that means with this localhost slash vn static we need to type in the browser or else you can type the ip address instead of localhost so let us begin now this complete procedure so my friend this is the website of sqweek.com is a website where you can see your everything you can about this site if you want to read vn static so completely you can scroll and you find everything you want to read on so this is my centos linux server so i'm going to log in here with the root directly you can log in with any username the password after that i'm going to first of all clear this one now i'm going to install first of all vn static type yum install vn static press enter to install this static so just press y to download this one and install so you can see on the screen this warning slash etc vn static dot config created as slash etc vn static config dot rpm new that has been created that has been downloaded and installed now let us we move to the next step so type vn static and give hyphen i and give your ethernet here we need to give to verify your ethernet that means ip which interface is using just type ip address so here on screen you can see 
E N P S is my so just I'm going to type here V N static and type hyphen I here you need to give interface name I N P zero S three in place of this I N S P zero S three you can give your any interface whatever you if you after typing IP address so you whatever you get just give that one and the press enter move to the next step hyphen U hyphen I am giving E N S O So after that, I'm going to move installing the Apache. Let us check. This is a command to install the Apache. Along with I'm installing PHP. Along with I'm installing PHP JDK extension. Press enter. So you can see I've already been installed this PHP PHP JDK. Now I'm going to clear this one. And then. Um, checking config uh, right config httpd on okay that has been request forwarded now i'm going to restart the service httpd start okay that has been redirect now i'm going to use ip tables tcp we need to uh, accept the tcp port type happen a input input give hyphen m state give space hyphen state again and give new and give hyphen m and you need to uh, give tcp then give space hyphen p then give tcp again space dt d port then after give at uh, right eight zero and then you need to give hyphen j you need to give here accept here just press enter so after that type service ip tables you need to restart ip tables okay sorry service ip ip tables restart so that is the fail issue okay after that type clear this one now i'm going to install downloading the we were moving to the temp file here type cd slash temp and just uh, we need to download here type at get i'm going to download the vn static php supported type http semicolon slash slash and type www dot csq and type dot com slash you need to give sq then slash then files slash vn static then give underscore php underscore front end and then give hyphen you need to give version 1.5 is the version which i am using a dot tar dot gz press enter it's connecting so you can see that is downloading the KB the size is in KB so that has been downloaded now I'm going to clear type ls to check so you can see vn static php is the file is there downloaded now I'm going to extract this the file so for that I need to type here tar and need to give x v f and need to give a static uh, the path press a tab to get a full command press enter now that has been extracted type ls to see see one folder is came here with a uh, started folder now we need to copy slash cp copy and then to give hyphen fr slash vn uh, static vn vn static give and need to give uh, the path this one okay press type full get then give a slash at the end of slash space give a space and give var slash ww slash need to give HTML uh, I'm creating one year static after that you need to so with this uh, is going to be copy this uh, front uh, that extracted folder is going to be copied in the location of bar slash www.html 
that has been copied now type in resto con hyphen capital r v slash web slash uh, need to give w w uh, then html press a tab again then type in static okay after that you need to press enter oh, just uh, after typing this the command uh, we need to edit the configuration file type cd and you need to edit a vi we can use nano or gre also type uh, g slash web slash uh, ww slash h sorry html oh then give vn static dot config so just uh, then type here config press enter now in this one here we need to first of all i'm going to set the language here what you have to do is press small i to insert the line and just remove nl and type en that means english so according to your country which language you are particularly just you need to give your language supported sir i am supporting uh, my language english so i have given the english en so after giving this en uh, you scroll down so you can see on screen this is your network interface access so here you can give your monitoring access like i am giving here ensp0 wait so in place of this one ethernet zero you can give your interface which interface you are using using so just give the name of this one after that just scroll down come to the last one so you can see here internal and external is just keep, remove this one and type here external okay after that so that is going to be monitor your internal and external plus is going to monitor your interface so give exact name of interface by typing ip and give space address so whatever you get the interface just give this name and just save here so just need to change here three things language and ip interface list that is ethernet which is the design and you need to give international in that one external you need to give your interface name press k bar and press semicolon w2 to save and quit exit after that you know do. so particularly i want to show you something also here one more thing type in static hyphen i and to type interface here which uh, i am using p zero uh, s3 just press enter so you can see this is your uh, seeing the uh, stimate bandwidth uh, monitoring of in command base on command line interface you can see on the screen that is monitor estimate daily monthly is showing but just type you need to be in static have a nine uh, and using your uh, you also and type have fun i press enter okay so this after uh, checking your command line base now we'll check for graphical user that means i'm going to type in browser just open your browser and type the ip address to confirm which ip address you need to type type ip address so you can see on the screen uh, my IP address 192.168. Below to the is 0.104 slash 24 is my IP address. We need to type in the browser. So just open your browser here and uh, type 192.168. slash 0.104 slash vn static press enter. So you can see the PHP front end is showing this only summary external is showing how you can configure. See everything showing just remove your uh, name of your ethernet interface you need to give exactly so that you can configure everything total bytes everything is good show show you so thank you for any clarification you can comment below to my video thank you for watching active cloud net video please share my video if you like and like my video and uh, share to my videos to your friends and relatives thank you for watching anti-cloud next video please subscribe to cloud next channel